Okay, thank you, uh, Dr. Supak, and I also uh, greet um, your interpreter, Pastor. Thank you for being able to uh, sit and come down from your busy schedule to answer some of our questions here in Fiji in regards to the important message that you've been preaching about the redemption of sin. So uh, I have a few questions. These questions uh, was formulated uh, from my research has uh, how our viewers, our congregation view uh, your message because the message has taken us to another level of, uh, of thinking about who we are as, as a Christian and also as a saved person. So, so the first question, uh, I, I, it says, explain in simple words the remission of sins. Yes, the forgiveness of sins is very simple. We have committed sin. But God gave us the law. You know, it was not so that we may keep the law to receive grace. Because, because before the law came, we had already committed sins. We were all sinners. And there is no Nobody who can become righteous by keeping the law. And we humans, no matter what we do, through our efforts or works, none of us can receive the forgiveness of sins. Therefore, we needed a Savior. And Jesus came as our Savior. And the salvation is completely by grace. It is through the grace of Jesus Christ. If salvation, if grace includes our efforts or works, it cannot be grace. Ephesians tells us you are saved by grace through faith. And it tells us not of works. I went to church from a very young age. And I believe that I needed to try really hard and pray hard for my sins to be forgiven. I was born in 1944. In 1950, there was the Korean War. And then in 1951, my mother passed away. And I lived a time of tremendous pain and suffering. And my older brother went to the army. And at that time, I lived so poor in so much difficulty. My oldest sister was 15 years old. At the time, I was eight. 그렇게 뭘 먹고 뭘 입어야 할지 몰랐습니다. And we had no idea what to eat, how to live. 자, 1962년부터 시작해. 62년까지 1951년부터 62년까지 11년 동안. And then from 1951 to 1962 for 11 years. 참 많은 날 동안 생각을 해 봤습니다. And so for I thought about those days many many times. 행복한 날이 있었는가? Did I ever have a day of happiness? Not once did I ever have a day of happiness. The one memory I had, my older sister's friend said to me, hey, Oksu, present, and she gave me a few notebooks as a gift. Other than that, I had no memories of happiness. I went through a lot of hunger. And then as I became 13, 14, 15 years old, I began stealing apples from other people's farms and stole peanuts and ate them. And because I was hungry, I committed a lot of theft. And because of sin, I was in so much pain and suffering and sadness. And that was how I lived for 11 years. And when I turned 19, I wanted to go to the army. And I wanted to become a, become a vocational soldier. No matter, I, I mean, even though I tried to get a job, I couldn't get a job. And I went through a lot of hardships. So I signed up to go to the army. 
앞니가 조금 깨졌는데. But because my front tooth was a little bit chipped. 그것 때문에 불합격을 당했어. Because of that they disqualified me from the army. 완전히 절망이 왔습니다. So I had nothing but despair. 왜 뭐가 안 돼? Why does everything fall apart for me? 정말 참 나쁜 놈이야. And I'm a terrible person. 제가 말을 그렇다고 생각했어. And I thought this was because I had too many sins. 그때 이제 매일 하늘 죄를 용서해 달라고 기도했는데. And at that time I prayed every day, God, forgive my sins. 그래서 그러나 여전히 마음은 죄로 가득했어. But still my heart was full of sin. 오늘날 내가 주님 앞에 기도하다가 And one day as I was praying to the Lord 예수 내 죄를 사했다는 그 생각이 들기 시작했어요. I began to have the thought that Jesus forgave my sins. 성경을 딱 읽기 시작했는데 And then I began to read the Bible. 성경 로마서 3장 23절이 너무 놀랍게 얘기하고 And in the Bible Romans chapter 3 verse 23 it tells us something so amazing. 로마서 3장 23절은 In Romans chapter 3 verse 23 모든 사람이 죄를 범하여서 하나님의 영광에 이르지 못한다고. It says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. 맞아, 난 죄인이야. That's right, I'm a sinner. 난 죄가 많아. Yes, I have many sins. 근데 너무 놀라운 것은. But the amazing thing is, 23절에는 죄가 있었습니다. In verse 23, I had sins. 24절은 놀랍게도 죄인이 아니었습니다. But in verse 24, amazingly, I was not a sinner. 그리스도 예수 안에 있는 구속으로 말 의롭게 되었다는 얘기입니다. It says being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. 이게 뭐와 같으냐면, and what is this like? 하나님 천지 창조하실 때. It's just like when God created the heaven and the earth. 땅이 혼돈하고 공허하고 허함의 깊은 위에 있었는데. The earth was without form and void and in deep darkness. 이 땅이 자기 무슨 수단이나 노력을 가지고 공허에서 벗어나고 혼돈에 벗어나고 허감에 벗어날 수 있습니다. And so what could the earth do to break out from the darkness, the confusion, and the emptiness? 그냥 땅은 수천 년, 수만, 수억 년 어둠 속에서 있어야 했어요. The earth would have to just remain for millions and millions of years in darkness. 혼돈 속에 있어야 합니다. Remain in confusion. 공허 속에 있어야 합니다. Remain in the void. 하나님이 말씀하셨습니다. But God spoke the word. 빛이 있으라. God said, let there be light. 어둠이 다 물러가 버리는. And all the darkness was gone. 땅이 무엇에도 물리칠 수 없는 땅이었는데. And it was nothing. It was the darkness. The earth could not defeat at all. 빛이 있었고. But God said, "Let there be light," and there was light. 하나님의 말씀이 떨어지면서. And as the word of God came upon it, 꽃이 피고. The flowers bloomed. 열매가 맺고. The fruits were born. 아름다운 동산이 되었습니다. And it became a beautiful garden. 우리 마음이 꼭 그렇다는 생각이 들었어요. And I felt that that's exactly what our hearts are. 로마 3장 23절에는 In Romans chapter 3 verse 23, 내가 있고 죄가 있었습니다. There was me and there was sin. 어둠만 있었어요. And there was only darkness. 24절에 But in verse 24, 그리스도 의롭게 됐다. Being justified. 왜? Why? 그리스도 예수께서 구속하였기 때문에. Because Christ Jesus redeemed you. 그래 하나님 말씀 빛이 사람이 어둠이 물러갔듯이. And when the word of God said, "Let there be light," and the darkness was gone. 이십사 절에는. In verse twenty-four. 이십삼 절은 예수님이 안 계셨는데. In verse twenty-three, there was no Jesus in verse twenty-three. 이제 어둠밖에 없었는데. And there's nothing but darkness there. 이십사 절에 예수님이 계셨어. But there's Jesus in verse twenty-four. 그분이 우리를 구속했다고 돼 있어. And it tells us that He redeemed us. 그래서 의롭다는 것입니다. That is why we are righteous. 제가 그 성경 읽으면서 And as I read that verse, 많은 성경을 읽었습니다. And I read the Bible a lot. 성경이 전부 그렇게 돼 있습니다. And that's how the whole Bible goes. 우리가 볼때 예수님이 이 땅에 왔는데 In our eyes, Jesus came to this earth. 자기 땅에 오매 자기 백성들이 영접지 않아야 했어. It says he came unto in his own, and his own received him not. 영접한 자곧그 이름 민족 하나님의 자녀가 되는 권세를 주었다. It says to those who receive it and believe on his name were given the power to become the sons of God. 예수님이 이 땅에 제일 먼저 하신 갈릴리 가나 혼인잔치 집에 물로 포도주를 만드신. The first thing Jesus did on this earth was he changed the water at the Cana of Galilee at the wedding into wine. 포도주가 모자랐습니다. They were short of wine. 예수님 항아리에 물을 가득 채워라 그랬어. And Jesus says, fill the water pots with water. 하인들이 가득 가득 채웠어. And the servants went and filled them up. 예수님 이게 이제 포도주니까. And Jesus says, now this is wine. 가 주라는 거지. Go and serve it to the governor of the feast. 하인 아 이거 물인데. But the servant said, oh no, this is water. 이건 포도주가 아닌데. Oh, this is not wine. 이건 물인데. This is water. 그래서 예수님하고 우리 인간 생각이 다르다는 거지. And that's why Jesus and the thoughts of us humans are different. 예수님 이 땅에 온 하는 모든 일도 우리 인간 생각하고 다릅니다. And so everything that Jesus does on this earth is different from us man. 야이로 딸이 죽었습니다. When Jairus's daughter was dead. 예수님 야이로 집에 갔는데. Jesus went to the house. 
of Jairus. And the people said the daughter is dead. They were crying. But Jesus said completely otherwise. Weep not. The girl is not dead. She's sleeping. People could not understand. What? She's sleeping? No, we can tell the difference between dead and sleeping. And so when you're sleeping, you're breathing and you have a pulse and your body is warm. But this child is not breathing and her body is cold and she has no pulse. She is dead. Our thoughts and the thoughts of Jesus were always different. Jesus spoke with the man with the infirmity for 38 years. Rise, take up your bed and walk. I can't walk. I've tried to walk and I cannot. And I tried so hard but I always fell. I might fall again. No. But those words of Jesus and the heart of the man within for 38 years, I cannot walk. The, a fight broke up between the two. Jesus tells them, take up your bed and walk. No, I can't. I can't. So when your own thoughts prevail, I cannot walk. Or I can buy Jesus next time. But if, but if the words of Jesus defeats your thoughts, I cannot walk. But if Jesus says to walk, then I can walk. Then you walk. Likewise. Back then I had committed so much theft. I told so many lies. Oh God, please forgive my sins. God, please help me not to steal today. If I get together with my friend, I'm going to steal again. Let me not do that again, God. That's how I would pray. And by the evening, I'm doing the same thing again. And the next day again, I'm asking for forgiveness. But one day, as I read the Bible, in Romans 3, 23, all have sinned. But through Christ dying for our sins, it's telling us our sins have been forgiven. It is not done without Christ. We have been justified. Why? Because Christ redeemed our sins. Ah, if so, if God says we're righteous, then that's right, we're righteous. There was a lot of conflict in my heart. Oh, no, no, I'm a sinner. I committed so many sins. I'm going to go to hell. But the Bible tells me, hey, you have been made righteous. Why? Because Jesus was crucified and he redeemed your sins. And so even though I had heard those words, I was always a sinner. And so when we sing hymns, we say, Happy day, happy day, the Lord Jesus washed my sins away. And then I got to know my sins were all forgiven. And then I realized, ah, my sins are forgiven. And then when you read the book of Hebrews, it's wonderful. In Hebrews chapter 9, verse 11. It says, but Jesus being come a high priest of good things to come. And that Jesus, he entered into the tabernacle. Not the tabernacle made by hands. It says a tabernacle not made by hands, uh, but the greater and more perfect tabernacle. So there are two temples. One is the temple which is in heaven. The other one is how Moses saw that temple on Mount Sinai. And then through Oliab and Buzalil, uh, through them he built the first temple, the tabernacle on earth. And the book of Hebrews continuously tells us the real amazing thing is, you know, yes, we commit sins, that's what we do. 
손으로 만든 이 성전에서 제사를 드릴 때 And so in the Old Testament when they gave offerings at the tabernacle built with hands 내가 제, 양을 잡아 제사를 속죄 제사를 드리면 죄가 사해집니다. And so if I kill a lamb for as a sin offering then my sin is forgiven. 근데 이제 신약에 와서 But in the New Testament 예수 그리스도는 Jesus Christ 하나님의 어린 양으로 왔는데 He came as the lamb of God. 그 제단의 피를 제단 뿔에다 바를 때 죄가 사해지는데 you know, when you put the blood of the offering on the horns of the altar that's when your sin is forgiven. 이 땅에 있는 재단 사람 손으로 만든 성전에 가지 않고 하늘 나라에 있는 성전에 올라가셨다고. You know, but he did not go to the uh, temple built on earth by man, but Jesus went up to the temple in heaven it says. 그래서 그에서 우리 속죄를 제사할 때 염소와 송아지 피로 안 했고. And there when he redeemed our sins not using the blood of goats and calves. 자기 피로 영원한 속죄를 이루었다고. It says, but by his own blood he obtained eternal redemption. It says. 그래서 히브리서에서 그 십장에 보면 예, 예수님이 구약 시대 양을 잡던 때는 매일 매일 죄를 지어서 했어요. And so in Hebrews chapter 10, you know, when they gave offerings to kill lambs, they had to do that every day again and again. 그때는 우리가 죄를 지을 때마다 죄를 사했습니다. Back then you had to get your sins forgiven each time you sinned. 그 예수님께서 그이 땅에서 제사를 드렸으면. But when Jesus, when he gave the offering, on this earth, 이 세상은 시간계니까. This earth is the realm of time. 어떤 제한된 시간만 죄를 사할 수 있습니다. Then he could only forgive sins for a limited amount of time. 예수님은 하늘 나라에 있는 성전에 들어갔는데. However, Jesus entered into the temple in heaven. 여기 시간계 모든 게 시간의 제한을 받고. On earth, we're in the realm of time. Everything is limited by time. 하늘 나라는 영원한 나라이기 때문에. But heaven is eternal. 염소와 송아지 피라는 자기 피로. 영원한 속죄를 이루었다. It says neither by the blood of goats and calves but by his own blood he obtained eternal redemption. 만약 예수님 영원한 속죄를 영원히 죄를 사하지 않으면 If Jesus had not forgiven our sins eternally 죄를 사했지만 우리 또 죄를 지으니까 you know, Even though he has forgiven us we still sin 또 죄인이 되고 또 죄인이 되기 때문에 Then we would become sinners again and again 하나님 나갈 수가 없습니다. And we cannot be able to come forth to God. 그런데 예수님 영원한 속죄를 드림으로 만드냐 But through Jesus giving the eternal offer 그 염소와 송아지 피로 아니하고 오직 자기 피로 Nine, 영원한 속죄를 이루었다. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood he obtained eternal redemption. 그래서 우리 죄가 영원히 씻어졌다고 성경 기록돼. So the Bible records our sins have been washed away forever. 그래서 제가 제 생각을 믿는 하나님 말씀을 그대로 받아들였는데. And so I didn't believe my thoughts. I accepted the word of God exactly as it is. 그때부터 내 마음이 달라지기 시작했어. From then on, my heart started to change. 성경을 일단 놀랍게 성경이 새롭게 보이기 시작했어. And then when I read the Bible, the Bible began to so amazing, 아, appear amazing and new. 하나님 내 죄를 다 씻었구나. 아, God washed away all my sins. 로마 3장 24절 의롭단 말 그때 이해할 수 있어. And Romans 3:24 telling me that I'm justified. That finally what I understood. 그러지 더 결정적인 건 로마서 4장 25절에. And another decisive thing was in Romans chapter 4 verse 25. 예수는 우리 범죄함을 위하여 내어짐이 되고. It says that Christ was delivered for our offenses. 또 우리를 의롭다 하시면 다시 살아나. And he was raised again for our justification. And so from a young age, I heard, had heard about John Wesley. I read his books. But I couldn't understand that. But when John Wesley went to the little church in Aldersgate, and at that time, they were reading the lectures on Romans. 요한 웨슬리는 아, 내 죄가 사해졌다는 사실을 깨닫게 됐어요. Right then John Wesley realized, ah, my sins are all forgiven. 그리고 정말 귀한 하나님의 종이 됐습니다. And he truly became a precious servant of God. 하나님이 요한 웨슬리 가지 그것을 제가 경험하게 했는데. And so like John Wesley, God allowed me to experience that. 아, 그러면 나는 의미다. Ah, if so, then I am righteous. 하나님이 날 보고 어렵다 그랬다. God said that I'm righteous. 로마 3장 24절을 봐라. Look at Romans chapter 3, verse 24. 23절에는 내가 있고 죄가 있었는데. In verse 23, there was me and I was a Sinner. But in verse 24, there's Jesus, and there's redemption. And God says that I am righteous. Can I, can I just, can I just uh, um, uh, 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 come in there for just a bit? Um, okay. Um, yes. Um, looks like you've really answered all the questions that I have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But let me let me just ask this important question because this is a question that has been with the church tradition now, and I think it was passed down from Catholicism, and now with the Protestant Church, 
그래서 아, 제가 중요한 아, 질문하고 싶은데요. 교회 안에 전통에 대한 것입니다. 원래 카톨릭에서 개신 교회. I think this is important for for us to understand more to get deeper in more. Uh, the question: Why why do we no longer call ourselves a sinner? Uh, because people still praying and saying that they are sinner, just like just like in the Catholic tradition. Now I think they have forgotten the the the, the message of John Wesley. It is now creeping in into the Protestant Protestant uh, uh, churches, where we continue to. Uh, to, even though we are saved, but we, when we pray, when we talk about ourselves, we continue to brand ourselves as sinners. But we think, that, can you just speak just a little bit on that? 우리 사람들 대부분 이제 두 가지가 있습니다. And so for most part there are two things. 자, 하나님 앞에 나가게 될때 when you come out before God. 내 생각이 자꾸 하나님 앞에 나가는 막고 있습니다. You know, your own thoughts continuously block you from coming forth to God. 38년 된 병자 보고 걸어가라고 했을 때 When they told the when Jesus told the man with the infirmity for 38 years to walk. 아, 못 걸어가는 데한 자기 생각을. He had his own thoughts I cannot walk. 그건 못 걷는 겁니다. Then he cannot walk. 그래 자, 나는 못 걷지만 even though I cannot walk. 예수님이 걸으면 걸을 수 있어. If Jesus says to walk, I can walk. 그게 믿음인 거예요. That's what faith is. 이제 죄인이라고 하는 말은 To say that you're a sinner. 내가 죄가 있다는 이야기인데. Is to say I have sins. 죄가 있으면 죄인입니다. If you have sins, you're a sinner. 그렇다면 예수님이 십자가에 못 박혀 죽으시면서 Then through Jesus dying on the cross. 우리 죄를 못 씻었다는 이야기가 되니까 It means he did not wash away our sins. 문제가 되는 겁니다. So that would be a problem. 좀 전에 얘기했지만 no, like we mentioned earlier, 예수는 우리를 범죄함을 위한 내어 준비 되고 Jesus was delivered for our offenses. 우리를 어렵다 하심을 위해 다시 살아나셨나이다. And he was raised again for our justification. 예수님 우리를 보 의롭다. Jesus calls us your righteous. 이제가 다 씻어졌어. Your sins have been washed clean. 사람들이 날 보고 제가 저한 나라에 갔는데 많은 목회자 모임들 모임을 가졌습니다. And so I went to one country and I had a gathering with many pastors. 그때 제가 의롭다고 말했습니다. And at that time I said I'm righteous. 그 많은 목사 감제 목사님 질문이 있습니다. 질문이 있습니다. And the many pastors were shocked. They said, Pastor, question, question. 목사님 제안 지었습니까? Pastor, you never sinned. 거짓말 안 했어요. You never lied. 거짓말 안 했어요. You never stole. 제가 이야기했습니다. And then I said, 제 도덕질을 헤아릴 수 없이 많이. I've stolen so many times I cannot count. 거짓말도 너무 했고. And I've told so many lies. 거짓말 안 하나 막 기분 말도 안 하고 그랬는데 자꾸 거짓말을 하더라. And then sometimes I tried not to talk so that I wouldn't lie, but I still would lie. 죄를 지었습니다. I committed sins. 그런데 어떻게 의인입니까? Then how could you be righteous? 나잘 모르지만 I don't know but 성경을 믿는데 but I believe the Bible 성경 로마 23장 24절 어렵게 됐다고 말. But Romans chapter 3 verse 24 says that I have been justified. 하나님이 어렵다면 의로운 거다. If God says I'm righteous then I'm righteous. 왜냐하면 because 예수님 우리의 모든 죄를 사했습니다. Because Jesus forgave all our sins. 영원히 사했습니다. He forgave them forever. 단한 번으로. And at once, once and for all. 그래서 우리 죄가 사해졌습니다. And therefore our sins have been forgiven. 그 나는 서, 하나님이 의롭다 뭐 의롭다 한다. So if God says I'm righteous, then I say I'm righteous. 예수 그럼 그러가고. If Jesus says to walk, you walk. 성경이 전부 그렇게 돼 있습니다. And that's how the whole Bible works. 예레미야 31장 34절. In Jeremiah 31 verse 34. 내가 그들의 죄악을 사하고 다시는 그 죄를 기억치 아니하리라. For I will forgive their iniquity and remember their sin no more. 예, 다시는 죄를 기억지 않는다. So he'll never remember our sins again. 하나님 저를 보고 뭐라 하는지 아십니까? Do you know what God says to me? 아, 박옥수 목사. Hey, Pastor Oksu Park. 너 깨끗해졌네. Hey, you have been made clean. 죄가 하나도 없어. You don't have any sins. 어떻게 죄가 그렇게 깨끗해? How could you be so clean? 아, 예수님이 하셨지요. 아, yeah, Jesus did this. 예수님 안 하면 이렇게 할 수가 없습니다. No, but unless it was Jesus, this could never be done. 하나님은 우리 죄를 대충 씻지 않습니다. Jesus did not just half wash away our sins. 구약 시대에 양을 잡아 드릴 때는 매일 매일 제사를 드려. In the Old Testament, when they had to kill lambs, they had to give offerings every day. 그런데 예수님은 영원한 속죄를 받았어. But Jesus obtained eternal redemption. 그래서 하늘 나라 있는 성전에 가서 He went to the temple up in heaven. 영원히 죄를 사했습니다. And forgave our sins forever. 그리고 히브리서에서 말씀하시기를 That's when the book of Hebrews he tells us. 10장 14절에서 In chapter 10 verse 14. 제가 한 제물로 거룩 
거룩하게 된 자들을 영원히 온전히 했다고 됐어요. For by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. 만 예수 이제 못 받기 내가 죄인이라면 If Jesus was crucified yet I'm still a sinner. 죄인은 지옥 가야 하고 Then if you're a sinner you have to go to hell. 십자가 실패한 것밖에 안 됩니다. And you're calling the cross of Jesus a failure. 십자가 못 받기 죄도 죄인. And though Jesus was crucified still I'm a sinner. 못 받기 죽어도 죄인이라면 and, and if he's crucified and if I'm still a sinner then what's the point of the cross? 그렇지 않습니다. That is not so. When he died on the cross, in our eyes, we have the memories of sin. You remember your wrongdoings. But all, but all of those sins were washed away at the blood that was shed on the cross. You know, all of it. Something that I learned, eh? I'm someone who, who believes. As a young person, I really believed in, in confessing that I'm the righteousness of God. Something that I've learned is that people think that the changing of the heart does not have to do with anything with the mind. But it's important, but the renewing of the mind is important. And that is why sometimes we are, we are stuck with the Bible verse, all men are sinners and comes out of the glory of God. And we just don't consider at all what Christ has done on the cross. Eh? And thank you for talking about the mind. And it starts with the thought. Thank you. Thank you very much. The earth was without form and void and in deep darkness. But God said, let there be light. Right then the darkness was gone. If God said, let there be light and the darkness was still there, that means God's nothing. When God said, let there be light, the darkness was gone. We had sins. And Christ forgave our sins. All of our sins are gone. Amen. If we have just a little bit remaining, it means Christ made a mistake. He did not save us. He did it perfectly, completely clean. Every little bit, forever. That's why we praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We praise Him. Amen. <laughs> so I, I think I don't have any other question because you have uh, spoken on my fourth question was, the promises in the Bible, and here you have stated uh, Bible verses, and uh, you have uh, also uh, was uh, spoken on the on the stories of the Bible that really depicts uh, why we should continue to look at ourselves as the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus because of what Christ has done. But just just the last one: Do you want to say any other things to our listeners here in Fiji? Fiji, in or. 듣는 분들에게 어, 말씀해 주실 거 있으십니까? 예. Yeah. <웃음> yes. 제가 피지를 갔을 yes. 때 When I went to Fiji, 저 수영을 좋아하는데. I enjoy swimming. 피지 <웃음> 바다 너무 깨끗해. And the oceans of Fiji was so clean. 조선 목사님하고 나 둘이 수영을 했는데. And so with Pastor Joseph, the two of us, we went swimming. 야, 조선 너 때가 많아. 바다 들어 와서. Hey, Pastor Joseph, you're so dirty. You're making the ocean dirty. 아, 바다 들어질 겁이 났어. I was afraid I was going to make he was going to make the ocean dirty. 그리고 이제 피지 사람들을 대했는데. And I was able to meet the people of Fiji. 피지 사람 참 사랑스러웠어요. They were so lovely. 한국은 좀 날카로운 편입니다. And the Korean people are very sharp. Yeah, but the people of Fiji were so soft. And I did not want to come back to Korea from Fiji. And I tell my friends, go to Fiji. And I was very, very thankful to God. And their hearts were so beautiful. And I also met the presidents and the leaders of the Methodist Church. And I met with many, many pastors. And they really loved Jesus. And I met with a few pastors. And when I spoke with them, you know, they accepted it with joy. And so with the ambassador of Fiji, we recently formed an MOU. 
마인드 교육을 가르치고 싶다고 했어요. We told them we want to teach mind education to the students of Fiji. 또 피지 학교 부족한데 학교도 저희 설립하고 싶다고 얘기했어요. And I also told them that uh, we are short of schools. We want to build schools for Fiji. 지금 코로나 때문에 피지를 못 가지만. But right now because of Corona, I cannot go to Fiji. 피지 가고 싶고. I want to go to Fiji. 그래서 피지 많은 목사님들이 저들 이야기를 들으시면서 그들 삶이 변하고 정말 기뻤습니다. And many pastors in Fiji listened to our words and their lives changed and they rejoiced so much. 그 많은 분들이 또 같이 교류할 수 있는 게 너무 감사했고요. And we're so thankful to be able to have this relationship with many people in Fiji. 앞으로 저는 피지 위해서 계속해서 일을 할 거고. And we will continue to work for Fiji. 전도 구체적으로 저희들이 하고 있는 마인드 교육이라는 게. And more specifically, we have a program called the Mind Education. 전 세계적으로 학생들이 생각을 하지 않아 일어난 문제들이 굉장히 많습니다. There's a lot of problems happening all around the world because students do not think. 그래서 생각하는 행동을 하기 때문에 이런 문제가 많은데. And so instead of thinking, they just are acting out. And it causes lots of problems. So, I'm doing this kind of work with a But I am doing this kind of work with a youth organization I have called the IYF. So, after mind education, the PG 젊은 학생들이 사과할 수 있는 방법을 배우고. And so, with mind education, we hope that the students of Fiji will learn how to think. 또 자제할 수 있는 그런 방법을 배우고. And also learn how to have self-control. 그리고 이제 저희들이 한국에 저희들 교회에서 시작한 학교가 있는데. And there's a school that we started in Korea. 많은 나라에서 정부 관리들이 와서 깜짝 놀랍니다. And so many government officials come from many different countries and they see our school and they're amazed. 영국 왕실 학교보다 좋다 그럽니다. They say these are better than the royal schools of England. 그 시설이 좋은 건 아니고요. Not the facility. 시설 시설 보통 학교 같은데. The facility is just like a normal school. 마음의 세계를 가르치고. But talking about the world of the heart. 마음에 우러나서 공부할 수 있도록. They so that they can study from within the heart. 자기 self control 하는 법을 배우고. And they learn how to have self control. 교류하는 법을 배우고. And they learn how to have fellow. And they learn how to how to think. So, 이런 교육이 전 세계에서 많은 나라에 저희들 교육을 받아들이고 있는데. And so many countries all around the world are accepting this education of ours. Fiji 정말 좋은 자연 환경, 밝게 자란 아이들이. And in Fiji, they have such beautiful nature, and the youngsters that are growing up brightly. 조금만 사과하는 법을 배우면. If they learn a little bit how to think. 그다음 자제하는 법을 배우면. And learn how to have self-control. 그다음에 서로 교류하는 법을 배우면. And learn how to have connection and fellowship with another. 세계 최고의 정말 사람들이 될줄 압니다. I believe they will become the best people of the world. So on top of spiritual life and faith, we want to do that kind of education. So we want to work together with the government and build schools there. A story from our president. I picked him up from the whole airport after he's attending uh, your seminar on the uh, in prayer and he talked all the way from Nandi airport to Suva about the program and about how he said it's powerful our press our current president I was driving and he was telling me stories of this uh, powerful program of the mind and I was saying deep inside me yes I think that is important uh, not only for Christians but everyone all over the world as we see what's happening around the world we see youths are un uncontrollable and I think it's really happening here in Fiji our culture of uh, a political disability we, we need that uh, to empower our mind and thank you for that uh, our president um, was commenting on it and talking about his great opportunity to listen. Thank you. Thank you. you. you know, in Korea and also in many different countries, we hold uh, education for many Christian leaders. And so we do a lot of education and training for pastors all around the world. And if you would like, we can receive pastors from Fiji to be able to do education for them here as well. Yeah. You know, we want to talk about this with the Methodist Church. You know, maybe about 100 persons a year can come to Korea and receive the training. And I think it'll be very helpful. You know, many, from many countries all around the world, they come to receive this training.
training from us. We knew from Kenya, government officials came to receive training. And even now, there's a lot of people receiving the training. I just want to say one more thing. You know, I really love Fiji. Beautiful country. And the people are so kind and warm. And we want them to bring them to Korea to show them our kindness. And we'll begin right away when the corona ends. Yes. Thank you. In the future, I will I will arrange a uh, Zoom session with the president. Because the president and you can continue and develop the discussion. So it will be really good. Very 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 good. But once the corona ends, he wants to visit our school. And he wants to learn our education. And our ambassador does a lot of work. And we're very thankful to him. Thank you. Uh, just the last, last thing, I was talking with Pastor James. And I was, I was sharing with Pastor James because of the importance of the message. We yes, need to have some of your, your booklets or your messages interpreted into the Fijian language here in Fiji. Um, yes, thank you. Yes, we will translate it into the Fijian language and we will send the books to you. Yes. Yes. And if you can translate it, Yes, if you can bring it over, we can help. We can help translate. Yeah, 책 주신 우리가 번역도 도와드릴 수 있습니다. Yeah, 감사합니다. Yes, thank you. Yeah, 너무 감사합니다. Thank you so much. 앞으로도 방송에 제가 자주 내가 갈수 있으면 좋겠습니다. And I would like to visit us and be on your broadcast often. Can you share? Sure, sure, you'll do that. Can you just do the last thing, a last request? Can you pray for Fiji right now? 피지를 위해서 기도를 부탁드립니다. Yeah, 지금 하겠습니다. Yes, right now. 하나님 아버지 앞에 감사합니다. Our Father God, we thank you. 피지 자연스럽고 천진난만한 아름다운 나라입니다. Fiji has the beautiful nature and it's a beautiful nation. 하나님 아버지 피지에 있는 많은 사람들 하나님을 믿고. Father God, many people in Fiji believe in God. 특히 영국에서 여왕 폐하께서 피지를 사랑해서. And also the Queen of England loved Fiji and gave uh, freedom and independence. 그리고 예수님은 피지 모든 시민들을 위해서 죄에서 자유로운 해방을 주었습니다. And Jesus gave the freedom from sin to all the people of Fiji. 그 피지가 하나님의 복 안에 자라난 나라가 되게 주옵소서. Allow Fiji to be a nation that grows within that blessing of God. 젊은 학생들이 예수님의 사람으로 자라서 아름다운 피지를 만들게 하시고. Allow the youngsters grow up knowing the love of Jesus and make Fiji beautiful. 피지는 숲이나 바다는 그 아름다움처럼. And just like the beautiful nature and the beautiful woods of Fiji, the people of Fiji have a beautiful heart. And at the very core, allow Jesus to be there so that they receive the forgiveness of sins. Allow them to live a life brightly through Jesus, Lord. And in the hearts of all the politicians, let the love of Jesus be upon their hearts. And also in the hearts of all the school teachers. And let the hearts of all the pastors be overflowing with the Holy Spirit. And bless it so that it will become the most blessed, beautiful nation. Allow them all to have the heart of Jesus. And let them become freed from sin through the grace of Jesus and live a blessed life. We thank you, Lord. God, may you bless them. And we're so thankful to be on this broadcast. And we hope that with healthy and good broadcast, uh, these words will awaken and revive the hearts of the people of Fiji. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Yeah. Thank you very much.